Hello, everybody. Welcome to episode three of Miseries and Misfortunes. I'm Eric, your host and game master. I'm Eric Vulgaris on Twitter and everything. Uh, my pronouns are they or he, and I'm super excited to play. Adam, how are you? Hey, I'm Adam. He, him, playing Moose Stone, uh, waiting with bated breath for hearing about a totally sweet picture of my character like Grant has. And uh, how about you, Colin? Colin, are you <laughs> Yep. I yeah. Um, I'm now unmuted, and I'm also uh, hoping to get some very dope art of yeah. my character, Picard Saint-Michel, also known as Le Mosquette. How are you doing, Grant? Uh, my name's Grant Ellis, and I'm here to say they call me Grant Ellis because that's my name. Um, <laughs> uh, he, they pronouns, and I will be playing Valentin de la Tour, who does have amazing, awesome, and cool artwork. I'm showing. I'm. I'm. I'm bringing it up. I just. I didn't have it ready, and now I can't grab it from the thread. And that's really there. It is. <laughs> <laughs> just reveal our My... secret conversations. Yeah. Oh no. It's okay. I'll. Sh I'll bring it up on a uh, screen. Uh, just. Just a second, so everyone can see it. Uh, in in all its glory. Hmm. It's gonna, I'm just gonna pan it. It's gonna pan it up. I made it too that's, big, and then I'm gonna, gonna say. That camera moves technically called a boom. Ah, thank you. Up and down is a boom. <laughs> That's right. A pan is left or right. Or right. Uh, no, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Here, sorry about that, everybody, for for squiffling around. But yeah, isn't that awesome? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. it's wonderful. Oh, it's so good. I it was it a lot of fun to to send the uh, instructions, and uh, clearly her quote is, "I am your boyfriend now." Just to <laughs> everyone, she's a boyfriend now. Look. I don't know how you say boyfriend in, in French, but le, le boyfriend c'est moi. <laughs> le, le petit copain. Le, le petit le petit ami. Copain. Really? Yeah. Le petit ami c'est moi. Say hello okay. to your petit ami. Yeah. Bonjour. <laughs> Bonjour. Awesome. Je suis le <laughs> petit ami. Maintenant. Yep. <laughs> Uh, so as you can as you can see, gent gentle tweaks to the overlays. I'm um, continually to refine things as I as I continue as I play. Uh, just saw work continually to refine to can get better at the rules. Uh, so it's going to be a continually uh, a work in progress as I uh, try out different things. I always I always like one of the big reasons I love streaming games is I like the sort of production wizardry and like just being experimental, playing exper more of like the experimental newer games as well. Uh, so I'm, I'm super excited to have you all on board and everyone here watching it is probably cool with that too. So I'm super happy about that. Uh, yeah, so anyways, let's do a quick little recap of what happened last session and then we'll get ready to go, okay? So uh, sure. the, the trail of Anton's work fizzled out uh, after a failed chase um, against some pickpockets around the Cemetery of the Holy Innocents. Um, I'm not going to go too much into details, details of that stuff because if you're watching this, you probably saw a previous episode. But uh, We saw a little bit of the home life for all our PCs. And then we also saw how Paris is in, uh, being engulfed in protests uh, about the latest taxes, um, as reported in all the various broadsheets around. Uh, barricades are being erected, um, as well as many people are marching down to, um, uh, I wish I wrote it down, but there's just basically the, like, whatever, like, Notre Dame, like, that sort of area is the center of Paris. Okay. It's la cité. Yeah. La, yeah, la, la university is absolutely uh, a home of it. Uh, to to a lot of this, as always, uh, in almost every protest again in the entire history of protesting, it's almost always started with students, um, usually or like faculty getting hurt in some way. Like this is this is the, a historical constant. Um, so, anyways, that's what we're doing here. Uh, any 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 anything else I think is notable that I missed? Um. There was the scuffle uh, at Mustan's place, which was that's right important. Maybe it may, emblematic is probably a better word. It, <coughs> it how did how did Valentin get there? <laughs> that's that's okay. the real story to hear. It's true. I had to create a situation. Uh, I I imagine Valentin was told no, don't take the hat, and Valentin sulked away. And like created a a uh, 
disturbance in the back with your infirm aunt and you had to go back and while you went back to tend to her like i i got her like in a fit too like there was like soup i'm like i knocked it out of the way and was like ah ah and like <laughs> I'm, out to fit. I'm not that much of a scumbag but <laughs> sorry i mean my, i was thinking of what i would do that was, that was very close to me. but yeah and that's when valentine was like that was the time to get the hat got the hat and got out <laughs> it's good stuff cool yeah, so so you have a hat, and uh, there's a bruised uh, gamine <coughs> on the streets uh, with the rest of his squad, kind of running around, being um, little 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 twats, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, just causing ruckus, trying to rob people. Uh, you know, I'm just living living it up. All right. Uh, so I think I want to go to. Um, Actually, let's let's stay the same night here because I think the interesting thing here is keeping the camera at Valentin and and Mustang mm -hmm. uh, for a moment, and then um, I think I'm gonna I have a thing for Picard as well. Okay, nice. So um, I don't think Genevieve's really cool about what just went down. To tell you the no, truth, no, probably not. Uh, so she's probably like shrieking, um, and like pr like kind of like praying like. Manju, like, why, did, why are they coming in here? What did you do? Why do you have that hat? Kind of stuff, right? Uh, shrieking and hollering about uh, sort of sort of what's going on outside, the state of affairs, and that now Valentin is wearing some random person's hat, uh, and then you and she just had to watch her nephew beat a kid with a cane. Um, so that's not exactly like the the home environment. No, your aunt it's stressful enjo enjoys. So she is very stressed right now. Mm -hmm. um, and and uh, I think, I think the quick answer is, get out of my house. <laughs> I, I think it's <laughs> this is my house, <laughs> according to all of my documentation. Yeah. So second, uh, you know, if if you want to leave in the middle of this riot, that's you know, that's I, fine. But I I recommend that nobody leave in the middle no. of the riot. Very well. Uh, she, she's she's amenable to that, but uh, I think more more importantly, it's directed at Valentin and oh, saying sure, that I, you I brought this ruckus <laughs> sure. into this well, house, I, into our house. Wee uh, wee, oui, oui, madame. <laughs> I'm, I own it. I did bring the ruckus, and as you can see, Muslan <laughs> stopped the ruckus. I can only stop a few of them, Valentin. Yeah, I'm not out there in the streets bringing more ruckus in, am I? I'm here. I'm safe. I'm not causing any problems. And perhaps <laughs> as you adjust the hat that you got beating. So, <laughs> <laughs> so uh, in other words, it's a I'm, beautiful hat. Uh, Gene Genevieve will not be easily convinced that uh, this is all omen, an omen from your bad company, Mustan. Sure. Okay, mm. so um, I think we're gonna we're gonna duel of wits between Valentin and and Genevieve here about you are you are the problem and you should and I need I want to ask your friend to get out of this house. Yeah, and you, you you're, be. you're a bad luck charm. And, that, and, well, I I mean it's gonna be a terrible duel of wits because I'm I, going to agree with her. Well, I was gonna say if Mustan <laughs> asked me to leave, I would leave. Like I would have no intent of staying. I have right. my own place, which is much nicer than this, and I'm unlike the. Uh, fearful yeah. aunt, I'm willing to try my blade yeah. in the streets. I mean, you could always try to convince her uh, about, like, you know, yeah, that I, you know, I, I'm armed, and you know, actually, I'm. You probably want me in here, and like, give her some some uh, hard truths about the situation outside, right? But right now, mm -hmm. she's like, you're disrupting my house, and like, this is you are you are a bad luck. I've told Mustan hundreds of times that this is the you know this is the you know the the company you keep has will be your your downfall. All right uh, then. Right, oh, and so okay. that's that's the part where you like she needs she needs either assurances or you need to <clears throat> kind of deceive her or give her like the real like the realness of this the real politic of what's going on right now, and that actually someone, you know. So how 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 so do you, are you ready to to duel? Or, or do you think, uh, do you yeah, think this could be a parlay? Give, give or, me a second to think about it. Yeah, totally. I have to really sell myself on the idea that Valentin wants to stay there. Um, other than lightning usually doesn't strike the same place twice, and we probably won't get kerfuffled uh, yeah. again. Um, especially not after I tie that body up and leave it outside like a sign and a warning. I'm not going to. Um... 
You know what? No, I'm proud. Uh, this is one of those things where Valentin doesn't want to be thrown out because uh, Valentin wants to win over the aunt uh, and wants this to, to end with the aunt offering to cook Valentin a meal of Mustan's food from his own supplies. And they don't have a lot anyways. Yeah, as far as Mustan's concerned, he's gone over this kind of conversation with with Aunt Genevieve like a million times. And yeah. so he knows that the argument is a waste. But he's not going to interrupt Valentin making a fool of herself. <laughs> yeah, okay. Awesome. Hey, now. Love it. <laughs> cool. Uh, let me just... So then I think we will duel. Uh, I'm just going to generate... I just don't know how to I'm talk generate to generate the aunt's uh, yeah. will real quick. You know how it is with family, though, right? Yeah. Like, Get that touch point, uh, and you're like, oh, I, I know where this is going to okay. happen, where this is going to go. Someone once, uh, she couldn't okay. go to Six Flags with us, and uh, I said, let me talk uh, yeah. to your mom. <laughs> 100% in chat. <laughs> hmm. That... Just look at the stats real quick. Okay, cool. That's what I thought. Awesome. Okay. Um, all right. Uh, I am. I think I am prepared. Um, are you? Are you prepared? Do you have a? Do you have a weapon that you would like to? Let me. Let me think about this. So, um, I. I'm currently at uh, speaking distance, and uh, my intentions are to be invited to stay, and be served a meal. Welcomely. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, her intentions is to scold you out of her house. Yeah. I, I like either result. Um, oh. okay. uh, would you like to ask her to speak ahead of you, or are you good? Mm, I, I think I'm going to uh, go first, and I think my, my weapon is uh, definitely... <sighs> I'm sorry, Adam. Um... It's, I, I'm essentially <laughs> insulting and being like, well, you can tell Mustan the same thing a thousand times, but it will always drift through in one ear and out the other. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the man is deaf to harpy. Can't understand you. Um, yeah, so that's that's the, that's the direction I'm going. Where I'm going to put it on, put it on Mustan and the family in this house. Hmm. I know. So I'm maybe gonna... either an insult or yeah, an uh, shame. I guess insult or shame. It's one of those things where it's mostly it's it's a it's a hurtful untruth. Really, uh, Mustan's not uneducated and actually does listen to his aunt, as far as I know. That's closer. It's closer to insult. I think. Yeah. Okay. It's not. Yeah, it's not. It's not quite. It's not an implore. No. So yeah, I think I think it would be insult. Uh, yeah. I think she's going to accuse you of being. Uh, I mean, at minimal, a thief for pretending to wear this person that's this clearly stolen thing as your own. Right. Who would who <laughs> as do all nobles. <laughs> yeah. Uh so I I think I think that's very uh gauche to uh to do. And she, because of that, I she's like, nope, out of my house. So I think I think that's gonna be my weapon here. I need to go buy the prop of the stolen. Uh, we are we are in speaking it. we are in speaking distance, right? Yeah. Uh so I but I believe you go first because you do have mm -hmm. uh order of uh permission all right um so at speaking the table list required target to hit um boom, boom, boom insult target number 11 and then it's a 20 sided die uh correct all right and when you insult somebody you're targeting their intelligence okay i got an eight Oh, I'm sorry. It's actually just a flat DC. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it's that only will, that won't be only enough to do it. Only intimate distance. That won't be enough to do it. Yeah, mm. she's she's heard lots of people say terrible things about me. Great. Yeah. <laughs> yes. 
<laughs> it's like she took it as a compliment. She's like, really? Try, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Monsieur, try living with him, kind of thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Uh, I like this. Song. <laughs> yeah. Possibly because I don't have to be. She's played by. Uh, her. <laughs> what's what's her name? Uh, who's Han? I I'm, I know I have the head of her name. I just don't remember her name. Uh, I I know what she looks like in my head, but I don't remember her actual name. Um, what from? Uh, what's her, what's her name from Downton Abbey? The oh. great the great aunt, uh, grandmother, oh, Professor McGonagall yeah, from Harry yeah, Potter movies. <laughs> Maggie about. Smith. Maggie Smith. Thank you. Oh, nice. Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I'm good yeah. with that. Uh, I think I think that would be the correct uh, turn here. All right, cool. And I have Adam's approval. Okay. Oh, so, 100%. So you failed there. Um, do you are you are you satisfied with the eight, or what, do you think that's not enough, and that this is enough for uh, exerting yourself? Or it's not worth exerting right. myself. Okay. Well, she will accuse you of being a thief, so she's going to roll uh, d20. Ba -ba -bum. Let me do one quick roll beforehand. Is there any bonus for being a true accusation? Uh, no. Hey. <laughs> Yep, she's just gonna roll a d20. Does not hit her target number either. You you qua you scoff at the uh, the accusations of being a thief. Uh, uh, how picking picking things off uh, like yeah wearing wearing the the spoils of of misfortunes of others, uh, and so so Are flagrantly calling all nobles thieves in the yeah. this regard how dare you speak to your superior that way um so your i think old loose tongue we go back to picking a new weapon for the next turn mm -hmm. cool so accuse beg pardon bribe confess educate flatter implore insult poison seduce shame or threaten mm, yeah um i don't know <laughs> Oh my gosh! Um, mm -hmm. I'm not going with poison. Being like it's Mustan's fault, and then it's like it is your fault. Um, I'm not doing it. Yeah. Um, that's wrong. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to apologize. I'm going to beg pardon, uh, and I am going to uh, apologize uh, that I have brought the riffraff. I promise it's not going to happen again. Um, I recognize that uh, I brought a great deal of excitement onto her home, and I promised to stop. That was the last of it. Mm. Okay, that's a that's an easy roll done for you. That's like a nine, right? Yep, something like that. But it only does a d four. It does only. Yep. So it's to you. I got eleven. Oh, there it is, an 11. 11 will pass. So do your damage. D4, will. Okay. Um, so I think she she will acknowledge the, the apology. Um, but I think she will uh, turn your apology against you. And, and I think she's going... Okay, so my original idea was going to threaten you. But I think she's just going to insult you instead. Um, the, the idea here is like... <sighs> hmm. What this would look like would be... Yeah, probably against your station. Um, right? So you, so you use your nobility and stuff as, a, as a, an apology, right? Or, or, or just admitting... Fault here. I th think. Well, I would say my apologies is the fact that I I brought uh, I brought I violence to this home. Yeah. Ah. Right. Well, I guess I think she would say, "Well, well yeah." Well, might even be my character. It that is. She's yeah, I th I think I think she would probably scoff and be like, "Well, of course it. Of course you did. It is in your blood. All nobility breeds trouble." And uh, I think I'm gonna. Ins and that's my insult uh, about you being that nobles and caring for people and stuff and it just is bad luck so um that is the 
regrettable words that um, your your blood brings trouble. So I have to beat an 11. Okay, I do not. Uh, just, just kind of like shrug it off. It's like, what are you babbling about over there? Boil blood, trouble, boil, boil, toil, trouble. <laughs> I've heard a lot of tall tales out of you witches. As I shake my finger at her. Um, yeah, I, I, I think I'm going into. Uh, I'm going to educate her on. Look, you have to understand the purpose of nobility here. In modern day Paris, we belong here. It is our right to rule. And it is also our right to be chased by various admirers. To point to the body on the ground. Are you threatening her? No! I'm educating her. She couldn't do that to me. And it was her own nephew that <laughs> dispatched that cretin. Right. Um, it's just. A hard truth, then. You're teaching her no, a hard lesson. Nobility is here to bring grace to her life, and what grace flows from me well, will flow to her. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Halfway to bribe, then. I, I kind of like that. I, I, I like that a lot, actually. Okay. All right. So... Educate. That's, that's difficult, though. That's a 16. Yeah. Um... You got lots of years of life there, Grant. Mustan, would you like to? You don't. You would like to step in on other people's behalfs, or no? No, I'm. I'm. I'm sitting back and chuckling. Yeah. <laughs> I'm totally prancing about, and I have all my polite bows and and everything. And is it all right if I move into like intimate rage while this is going on, finishing this almost like the movement in a formal dance? If you're forcing your way into intimate, yeah. That's that's, Is it that's um, first of all, I'm just walking. She's infirm. Yeah. I'll just say it for yeah, right. I think it's uncomfortable. All I think right. it's a power move to do so. Yes. So I do that. What's the okay. consequence mechanically? Just so I, we can play with I think you suffer a bit of a reputation bump uh hit for it. You suffer damage to your rep equal to your target's precedence and a D six damage to your will. Plus a D6 if your target's reputation is higher than yours, but I'm not sure if we've no. established that for Genevieve. Genevieve's reputation. Seems... No. Genevieve's got no reputation. No, uh, they're basically a commoner. Sure. This seems like frighteningly so. harsh for a simple dance move, like two steps forward. Yeah. So then, I don't. So I don't think you actually like get. Unless, do you want to not go into the the range for no, that? Because it seems I pretty dangerous. Think... Yeah, I think yeah. I think that's. Uh... That's if I was running up and getting into her face. Yeah. Like, and there was resistance. Um, mm -hmm. I, I think, no, I'm more dancing about the room, showing off. Uh, I got an 18. <laughs> you got it. Okay. Uh, that's a D6 points of damage. Yes. Pretty dang good. Five. Oh, boy. Saying, <laughs> saying, foie. <laughs> Uh, so she doesn't have. She obviously she doesn't dies have. She of a heart off. attack. Uh, she does you not make Aunt it. Genevieve. She does not make it. She uh, learns. So she she will Swoons. she she fails. So there's a bunch of options for for her in the end of this because she gets one of any of those, right? She yes. So she can uh, forgive you, but not forget, or forgets but does not forgive learn uh, she can uh, learn uh <laughs> then you also those are the only two that you succeeded at right because he um, didn't succeed at the insult. Yeah, i didn't succeed at the insult yeah. so if, uh, the victory effect so i think it's going to be one of these things where uh she's going to learn um well the and, loser gets to pick okay yeah and the cool thing is, though, that, um, you know, see, I didn't even do any damage to you, so, like, you couldn't even shrug it off with your reputation. So, I think what I'm going to do, then, is I think I'm going to pick, uh, she forgives but doesn't forget. That's Basically, she's going to be, she's going to just wave you away for now, but it's going to grumble and blame it on and Mustan later, just how it's always happened a million times. Yep. There, there has to be a horrible nickname anytime I show up. Some... <laughs> 
some secret nickname one day that she says openly, like at court. <laughs> I don't think Genevieve will be going to court anytime soon. You never know; she might get called in as a witness. It happens. Uh, that would be <laughs> that would be a very very funny turn of events. <laughs> Character witness Aunt Genevieve. Mm. Cool. Awesome. Okay. So you're able to stay there. I think we're gonna cut over to Mustan now. All right. Because uh, I think I. I feel like that this also would be sort of like the time, uh, like a, a denouement time if you wanted to go back or whatever. I feel like that's kind of like the crux of, of what was happening over there. But for you, uh, Picard, mm -hmm. um, is there anything you wanted to do specifically that night? Because I had something for you, for you kind of in the morning. I was kind of following the scenes temporally here. Um, um, yeah, so I think I mentioned last session that Picard, you know, there, there is this violence in the streets that's, that's growing. Um, yeah. And Picard has uh, both a reputation on his street and uh, a sense, a small sense of obligation that he'd never admit to. Um, so he is like literally going to spend the night standing at the mouth of the alley, like with a lit match cord and his musket, just casually smoking his pipe, making it clear that if there's if there's business going on in the streets, it is not happening in the street. Love it. Is uh, is Picard hoping for business? Always. He would ne again never admit it, but he <laughs> has a sanguine streak. Yeah. Uh, the the most most of the protesting is not around you. Yeah. So, but you keep a watchful eye through the night. Uh, mm -hmm. Things go by unexpect or um, un unexceptionally. However, um, in the morning, you are you are. Uh, Let's say, well, how about just explicitly say it, and you can tell me how how to color it. Uh, I believe uh, your your old soldier friend Ohan will be making an appearance. Yes. Um. Okay. Oh. Uh. Oh. Ohan will be. Um. Let's say. Let's say they rap on your door. Um, okay. I've probably like just gone in exhausted from the night's vigil. Uh, my dad is already complaining that uh, he hasn't been cooked dinner yet, uh, and and I I'm like just starting to make dinner for my daughter, but not him. Fuck him. He can actually get out of bed and make his own goddamn Um, Oof. and like I'm just finishing like frying up a sad egg for my daughter when the knock comes. Yeah, right. Rap, rap, rap. Yep. I will. Hand hand over to the daughter uh, and open the door yeah. a little bit with my bayonet close at hand. Right. Uh, you see, it's Ohan. Um, Ohan is sort of a lanky man, um, big bushy eyebrows, uh, and he's holding his like little cap, like uh, like office head, kind of like apologetically, like at a, at like near his heart, like he's sorry to disturb you, kind of stuff, and he's kind kind of in sort of like a submissive kind of posture, right? And um, uh, like, I guess hats off to him, you. Picard will immediately like just shut the door almost completely, uh, turn back and say, I will be back. Don't yeah. come calling for me. And open the door, uh, grab his coat and his hat and step out and, yeah. and say, come. Oh. But, uh, I'm so sorry to uh, disturb you at a time like this. Uh, and... Are you? Oh well, yes, with the loss of your friend. I, I'm sorry I wasn't there for the funeral. Hmm. Are, are you alright? I've had a long night. Yeah. I was not expecting to see you. Yeah. Well. <sighs> he takes a real, like, deep breath, and, like, this is the part where he's like, I, I, I have a confession to make to you, my friend. I'm no priest. Nice. I'm having second thoughts about our agreement. The cash of goods. Our retirement. It weighs Whatever. heavily on my it weighs heavily on my soul. I am not a priest. No. I can direct you to one if you wish. No, you you don't understand, Picard. Picard is going to step These very goods. close yeah. and say, I'm quite sure that I don't understand. I'm of the resolve to return them or 
donated them to. It just it feels it feels wrong. It feels wrong to have all of this. It's not. It wasn't ours, and we 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 took it with the most violent ends. It 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 weighs on my soul, and I I would I prefer to make amends with my lord. Look at the times. This is. This, I, 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 do, I pray I would not even see the end of this year. I, I will have no good for this, and it, I, I don't want this bearing on me at, at, at the gates of St. Peter. Show me your hands. They're, they're plain. Yeah. I and mean, he, he has his cap in one hand, right? Yeah. He, like, so he, like, squatches it in gonna his arm. make, like, a show of, like, looking at his hands and his finger. It's so curious, isn't it? The blood that was on these. Invisible. If I... I see it in my dreams. It's 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 wrong. It, we we must give it back. Why? It was taken violently. It does not belong to us. It is a are sin. Are you gonna are you gonna duel of wits yeah, here? I think, this... <laughs> yeah, this is this. I think this is the part where where I think we have the duel of wits him. Yep, I have had the thing open. Suspecting this might be <laughs> where this is headed. Yeah, right. So he's he's a, he's kind of. Yeah, he's not great. Um, he's in a really repen like repentant mood. Um, he is looking for salvation and decides that your our ill-gotten gains uh, should not belong to us anymore. Um, so he's trying. His intention is to get you to see things his way, and that we should repent and and give these things back or away or rid ourselves of of, of that of that of our fortune. Right. Uh, I think his. His uh, intention is to either set back to status quo, where he's holding on to the treasure for both of us. He should, yeah. Or, if he's unwilling to, I will take the treasure back. Like, if it's not going to someone else, as far as La Mosquette is concerned. Yeah, totally. That sounds right. Um, yeah. Okay. Um, the, pro the problem is all of the stats in these books do not have anything about the social stats or wills for Duel of Wits. Oh, that's, that's a shame. Yeah. That's okay. So I just have to quickly re uh, generate their will. Awesome. Okay. Yeah. That's that's funny. <laughs> okay, so which of us has the precedence? I am precedence two. He's also precedence two. Okay. Uh if so tied higher wisdom, my wisdom is nine. You have the higher wisdom. Oh, okay. Um, I'm going to defer, uh, Picard is going, to, before he decides what he's going to do, he wants to, he wants to hear out his old comrade in arms, as, as rough as he is, he's going to say, you've not come here lightly, you've not come here without some thought, and so I beg you, let's hear your thoughts in full. Totally. Okay. Um, Okay, um, I mean, he basically, I think, I think the first one has to be his confession to you, right? That he's mm. he's confessing about these doubts. So that's what that's where we're gonna start. Okay, okay. we're in we're in speaking range. Okay, fair enough. He still gets it. That's amazing. <laughs> um. So he confesses to you about these doubts. He just he describes how he's had a change of heart, uh, that he feels like he's he's found God, and that um, he feels that his his soul is at stake holding this. Um, rich men like rich men cannot go to heaven, kind of thing, right? Mm. And that these these gains are, um, these gains are what would send him to hell. Um, so so he he confesses this to you, and that we should get rid of it. So he is going to do some damage to you. Yeah. Yeah, hit me. Hit me with that damage. Okay. Okay. That's six points of damage to you. That's uh, really, 
close to an immediate victory <laughs> is that I... <laughs> you have to sing for yourself uh, if it doesn't take you out outright. Uh, well, so I believe uh, I can deflect some reputation with my reputation. I can deflect some damage. Yeah. Um, it's a question of whether I have higher, lower, or equal reputation to him. We have equal. Equal. Both okay. are two. So you could, okay, you then could I can absorb def- two. Yeah. So you take four. Yep. Okay. That's great. <laughs> oh, boy. I hate it. I had to find God. I think Picard's response to that, he's someone with, he's got, he has a, a temper, but I yeah. don't think he's going to threaten with bodily harm. Not yet. Did you, that may come up. Did you take more than four points of damage or more than half of your points of damage? Yes, I did. Okay. okay. So I have to roll something. So you have to test sang or you skip your turn. Okay, well, good news is my sang is fucking great. Yes. Uh, da, 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 da. As, like, this, like, makes you run cold for a minute, and, and you you chew on the Success. words. Nice. He's not wrong, is the thing. And I think that's what hits Picard, even though he, like, this is blood money. <laughs> like, yeah, this is, this is not... Yeah. Yeah. We um, yeah we agree that this is this is spoils from war, right? Um, so like yeah, this isn't great. It's not like a commission. This is this is ill gotten. And I'm torn between what this would be. My instinct is uh, I want to shame him. Um, totally. But what what Picard we're in too deep. To... Get a hold of yourself. Yeah. It's like you're already going to hell, oh. right? Yeah, I mean a little bit. He's like you know. he's like you were part of the Domerville Regiment. Yeah. The French <laughs> volunteered to join the Lowlands. You yeah. were a soldier and did and reveled in all that a soldier is. And yeah. now, now you would break that tradition for what? On my daughter's birthday. Are you, <laughs> you come to me. <laughs> are you so unhappy with everything that you have chosen to be? Oh, are you... Is that an educate? Is that like, again, like, is educate like the real talk uh, move? Yeah, 100%. Po- possibly, yeah. I was I was looking, what ruler tradition have they broken? And it's like, look, yeah. you can't be a soldier and hold yourself to a soldier's, like, code only when it suits you. You can't be so a good search. Was, yeah. You can't be a good soldier and a holy man. Yeah. Oh, I like that can't shit. can't be a good soldier and a holy man. So I, Yeah, I think I'm going to be Shame. shaming. Yeah, you're shaming uh, him. Do, and do I have do I have to declare that I'm moving in close? Is that... You might be a Christian, but you're a soldier first, damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so we're they're, at speaking they're in distance. Deep. Yeah, uh, we're speaking. I have a plus one to attack, and my target number so is twelve. Game twelve. Okay. Mm-hmm. And you could do this a lot of damage. This is my though. first turn. Woof. I'm going to spend some more of my life. You're going to exert for it. Huzzah! That's That's better. (laughs) That's way better. That's... I don't think there's a... There is a crit mechanic in the game, right? Oh, that's a good Uh, question. Yeah, there is. Uh, Natural 20. Um, uh, Let's see here. Um, Make a second to hit roll. If you do, you do damage a second time. There is no third crit. So do another attack roll. Okay. No. Could I then exert that? Hey, I realize. Hey, it's fun. another. <laughs> no, it's fine. Uh, so that does two d four damage. Correct. To his will. All right. I okay. give as good as I get. Uh, they get they they give up. You. you Shame. Victory. Your target is they... humiliated and either bursts into tears or flies into a rage. Uh, he's oh he bursts he bursts into tears he he grovels at you, mm-hmm. right? Of all the things that we've done, the the death on uh, like it it's just it's overwhelming when you remind him of the stuff and uh you know, um in in the lowlands. I think on that seeing that Picard right? he's is going to soften grabbing a your little. coattails, right? And like please, Picard is going to please. like, is like there no and- hope for me? Try and like drag him to his feet, but he doesn't want to be on his feet, so he keeps yeah. like going down. And yeah. he's like, 
listen, listen. It is not that I don't have dreams where I am once more caught in the blood and the mud. It's not that I have no regrets. It's not that I'm cold. But it is the knowledge that my strength is your strength. That so long as we are soldiers, we are soldiers together and our burden is eased thereby. Stand up, soldier. He stands up. Uh, he's sniveling, right? And wipes his nose with his hat and uh, puts his, his hat back on and says, You're a good man, Picard. You're a good man. He like you hand on your like shoulder. Yeah, he's yeah. like, if you ever say that again, I will break your jaw. <laughs> <laughs> he he kind of he, he he laughs, and um, you get the impression that Ohan is sort of he's not flippant when he says it, but he sort of has that tendency to be like the next the first thing he hears, he gets really excited about, and then kind of forgets and gets excited again, and so like <laughs> you know, uh, especially in, when he's stressed, and so you being like, get your shit together. Uh, that that that's the new thing to him. He's like, you're right. Yeah, I, you're right. That was stupid of me. We are we are together, and as a, our our bonds are, are what keeps us strong. It shouldn't. It, the weight is not just on my so- shoulders. Oh, they, but these these priests, they 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 hound every every night with with talks of of of, of sh- these times, and I don't know. You're right. I I just should I should, I should I should block it out and do and do my soldierly duty. Next time you see a priest, make note of his waistline. I've never seen a thin priest. <laughs> Are you going to insult at the end of the Duel of Wits? Oh, that, I mean. No, he's not a priest. Is there a passing priest I can insult? He's glad. <laughs> <laughs> it's the monocled Papa Pierre time. <laughs> yeah. Publish it in the press. Just hit yeah. all priests in Paris. Yep. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. We're going to get into, we're going to, we're going to get into published Duel of Wits eventually. Um, awesome. I love that. Great. Uh, he, cool. your, your, um, your, your owed debt is safe for the time being. Tendulous. <laughs> cool. Um, so then I think, I think right now, uh, we're going to flash forward a little bit of time unless there's any sort of like time in between here as, as sort of the, the days drag on. Um, and I'm going to kind of, I had a sort of narration of like how the protests are going to go in case anybody, because I kind of did like a little like faction turn before this game about oh, like how is. things are going. Yes. Um, but I, again, like I didn't want to like cut you all off because I didn't really talk to you about that yet. Right. Because I, I imagine this game kind of like Burning Wheel where times kind of can like go up and down. Sometimes it will be like a week before the next scene. You know, sometimes it's the next minute. Right. Yeah, That's I love that kind of thing. So I, I just wanted to make sure before... Um, we we do that and and again there's always like i don't really care about jumping around time but um right so so what's going on is that the first minute of protests are pretty are are you saw like this night and the following couple of days were kind of successful like there was a huge surge of people um around the courts around the universities um around the academies uh it, w- it was getting pretty popular um however nothing was done of it and then it was violently cracked down by um for example uh some of the uh, provost guards some of the card like loyal cardinist soldiers um hired hired men of th- those sorts and then it, it kind of broke off as people also you know um there was on a food uh, and like kind of like you know the fuel to keep a, a good protest going so instead now there's sort of like um rather than people marching in the streets the barricades are still kind of out and there's sort of like that tension and some people are still out a lot more but it's it's kind of died down a little bit and it's coming less like an attack and more like a siege as the city like gets in uh for this sort of long-term fight for the heart of paris does that make sense for the soul of it um so it's it's not it's not like the 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 first rush of of joy into the streets and we're going to change things has now given the way to sort of more of a embittered uh kind of siege like atmosphere of uh, a siege of wills if you would until something breaks it so i just wanted to present that sort of the time of, of what's going on okay uh in other words the um the royalists uh rolled really really well on their faction turn um so that 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 is what's going on right now, which makes sense. Front doors were born to lose. All right, sorry, sorry, Franz. Okay, um, 
So I have a, we have a couple things to still handle. I know uh, Aden still has uh, you still have that message for La Madame Chevreuse, right, Adam? That's right. Um, so you need to take care of that. But then um, I wanted to ask you if you guys had a had an interest in any of the leads about Anton, or or anything else that you wanted wanted to do. So otherwise, uh, I have something we can do too. But I believe yeah. the main direction for Anton was going to be that book bookseller. Yes. Yeah. Once the city was in a state that we felt like we could get there and actually talk to somebody. This seems like a, a reasonable time to try that out. Yeah. All yeah. Right. I'm yeah. about that. That's Honoré. Um, this is a yeah. place where Anton was beaten up and taken after he went to the store. Yes. Right. Okay. Yeah. Um, had we discussed a, a kind of plan of action for that? Um, no. <laughs> okay. I mean, I mean, Surely. we can flash back and have that have happened at my house over mm -hmm. the cheese wheel or whatever. Mm. Um, but no, there was no actual plan. And I have a feeling that the way this group is playing, they wouldn't have talked about an actual plan. <laughs> they would have been like, oh, yeah, we're going to go. We're going to go talk to him. And that would have been. I, I think. Uh... I think Picard has an idea of trying to replicate Anton's circumstances, uh, inspired by what Valentin was doing, walking around as Anton, right? Dressed up as Anton. Val is um, very inspiring. If we do that, Picard will wait in an alley and see who tries to jump Valentin <laughs> slash Anton. Uh, the bookstore is the orange box I just drew up on here. Rockin'. Thanks, Eric. So, Grant, how do you feel like that? Are you okay. feeling... Are you feeling like like bait? Um, always. Um, <laughs> I think here's. I think Valentin sees this as a personal challenge. I only had about a day to pretend to be Anton. If I was just given a second chance, <laughs> I would do a much better job. I'll walk like Anton. I'll talk like Anton. I'll do that weird fidgety thing with his hand like Anton. <laughs> No one walks <laughs> like Anton. No, no, one, no one squawks like Anton. No one box like Anton. <laughs> Jeez. Yeah. No one sits on so many quite boxes, Anton. <laughs> Wonderful. He's especially good at philosophizing. <laughs> Did you, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So, do we want to do that first? Again, do you want to be do another honeypot kind of trick? Is that is that the play then? Yeah, and um, I think it. Uh, so there. Let's follow this. So yeah. I think if it was pitched to Valentin, Valentin might explain that uh, we realize that that's a good plan, but we already did that plan and it worked, and we spotted a man with a tattoo on his hand. I think we should follow that lead rather than try to get me snatched again. I think that's how that Valentin might pitch that to you. Mm. But that's that's not going to Honoré's bookstore then. That's no, that's tracking the Gamines in the near the cemetery. Right. If okay. we're just headed to Okay, but okay, now we'll follow. So, uh if it's going to the bookstore dressed as an Anton lookalike, I think I would do that. That's yeah. why I didn't succeed last time. Yeah, you 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 were dressed as Anton, but you weren't doing what Anton would have been doing. Valentin, you get strange looks from men with hand, tattooed hands like every day. That was probably nothing. <laughs> I noticed how he ran from you as you pursued. Yep. All right, okay. I'm I'm cool dressing like Anton, but I don't get to wear my fancy hat. Okay, I'm a little disappointed. That's true. You keeping it with me though. How do you keep yep. you are you, you're keeping it on your person? Depends how big it is. I might pull it up. <laughs> okay. I mean um. <laughs> <laughs> I mean it's a pretty big foppish hat hat. I'm not sure. Okay. No, okay, I'm saving it for the special yeah. day. Yeah. This yeah. is your special hat, Grant. You don't need to use it immediately. All right. <laughs> <laughs> um so uh now the, the follow up question. Uh, if we are doing this bait, um, <laughs> Picard's question is very so like like how how heavy am I rolling? Do, should I pack 
my full musket or am I good with just a bayonet in my pocket? Um, some things to consider at this time, just so you know, that's possibly a threat to know. Uh, I don't think this is a good time to walk around the city with the musket. Oh. Right? Considering Colin knows con- that. Cons- yeah. <laughs> considering the times. That- I would Colin tell you these, that. Yeah. These trying okay. times uh, <laughs> yeah. that that could be seen as very bad. Um, yeah, Mustan, like, Mustan's for, looking for any excuse to tell you to not bring for, your musket, uh, and this is for, a good one. Mus- furthermore, we're at Mustan's place, and I'm just like eating gunpowder out of a bowl, be like, "All right, how much am I bringing, guys?" How much? Are- <laughs> furthermore, um, it's very common around more of the richer areas or more protected areas that they would probably have hired guards, and that you might be searched and stopped for different things. Mm. Right? Okay. In case you all are carrying contraband, I don't think you are. But, um, you know, they have people in these times, people can't be too safe. So uh, expect that is that is the atmosphere of the time. And I'm giving you that because you're literally live in this gosh dang city and you've seen people get stopped before. Right. Especially agree to be bait if you're walking around with a musket just because I'm like, you know, Picard, Picard's uh, Colin is finally not bringing the musket. Picard would have pushed back a little because he's a grumpy man. Yeah. (laughs) Just, he's like packed all he's packed the 12 apostles and on the bandolier and who's not like no he's like come on please okay mm-hmm. um cool let's let's do this i don't want to do any more planning no problem that's not our yeah. style this is this is grant's role then right we're doing that honeypot thing which i think we we agreed on this role last week i just don't remember what it was it was improvised, uh, right. but now it's it's um, disguise. Yeah, no, no, it, it's a. I think it's evolved from what it was before. Um, Makes sense to me. I I think this might even be like uh, one of those general skills, one of those mentalities, possibly, because I'm trying to get into. You have a life path scale for it? Is that what you're saying? Uh, well, it'd be like nationality, French, yeah, oh. religion thing. Uh, I no, don't think political aff- uh, politics would make sense. But it would be like you gotta... it would be more like your um, presentation. It would be more like student. Like, could you roll student? Um, maybe as like how well you fit in, looking like a student, like Anton. But mm, I guess not. That's fine. Yeah. Yeah, I I think this. Well, we will keep it improvised. And what it yeah. is is it's it's the next. Uh, we'll view it as the second. It's the follow up improv game. First it's... one was a stroll about town. Now is uh, my improv game is get a book from the bookstore. It's not Sub Rosa. No, he wouldn't be able to roll that anyway. Yeah, because that's that's more of like the thief stuff. That's that's my skill. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <sighs> I, so 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 the point of this role so i guess i guess one of the questions i have for you eric is are we kind of gonna simulationisty find out if this is just the right day or are we going to find out are we going to go straight to kind of blade style this is an engagement this is the role. engagement role this is engagement okay. okay at which point the no. results of the engagement role is kind of a question of what's our position to deal with this yeah. which could have, totally be parlay, right? Or improvise or listen. I'm, yeah, I think I'm going with I- improvise on this, uh, largely because we did it last time. And the way I view this is Valentin's trying to make herself become Anton. And I'm not too no. exactly sure how Anton would do that, but to get get into the situation where it's like, all right, I've got the look. Yeah, no, the, the okay, I mean, if you want to use Blade's terminology, which I'm not sure really fits exactly for this spot here, but like, this is, it's like risky standard, right? Um, yeah. You, this, you could totally pull this off and someone could interpret it as you being Anton, which may be right. good or may be bad, um, oh. but you could certainly accomplish it by doing this, right? That's 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 on the table. And we have we play for two hours a week. I don't have time to give you all red herrings and stuff where it's like things, you know, this isn't a good day to do it kind of stuff. Right, we're gonna we're gonna tread along, okay? I got I, I will tell you. I will tell you that this has no effect, or or something like that, early on, so you can try a different something else, or or I will just roll with that and and just re- redo stuff, okay? Because so, you're the best. Yeah, don't don't worry about yeah. that stuff, especially yeah, when it comes especially when it comes to investigations. I don't I don't have time for. 
that's right. kind of bullshit, Eric. You need to waste my time. All right. You need to oh. waste well, everyone's part, time. part of this is also the this system is not going to give us that stuff. And right. I want people in chat to understand that we are yanking from other games that we know and love. Yeah, to do some yeah. more heavy lifting about writing a game. Sure. Yeah, so so I don't think I succeeded. <laughs> I'm not, <laughs> not for No. Okay. Um yeah, so I think I think what's gonna happen then is uh I well, attract you, the attention of many men. You, uh, <laughs> I mean you're no, no you're not wrong. Game, you, just, in the you, game. You, you would, yeah. Well both then. Because you do it you you attract the wrong sort of attention though. Mm-hmm good um so it does work but it's the wrong people um mm. specifically uh it's some of the nastiest people Ugh. Yes. Ugh. so uh this is this is the the bad time okay um oh yeah so Some you definition. let's see i just one one quick roll This is how many pieces they chop yeah. me up okay. into. Fortunately, there's just there's only three of them, but yes, uh, there are <laughs> three pieces. There are there are there are three soldiers. Um, you will, you you've seen them before, uh, or at least based on their sort of uh, brooches. Uh, these people belong absolutely uh, to to the Church of Saint Gervais. Uh, these mm. are some of the barbarians men, uh, Bavarians men. Um, mm. You don't know oh, their names, I but their but yeah. their their uh their look, their feel, um, their vibes, uh, absolutely, um, give it. And they just are kind of hanging out around here. Um, unfortunately, with the fail, uh, they have seen you, and um, mm-hmm. I believe they would shout, uh, sh- like they look to each other and they say, "Wait, are you seeing a ghost, my friend?" You know, and. The, Wait a second, and they yeah they're gonna go over and they're they're gonna like, why would he come back here? Like what a fool, uh, kind of thing. And then uh, the three of them are gonna begin to walk over to accost you, thinking that you're alone. Oh, right. we should have maybe established this. What's the uh, what's the like signal for <laughs> for us to help and jump? Uh, in? Usually, uh, the traditional signal is as soon as you hear Valentin starting to talk, that means move closer. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, totally. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, uh, hey. what what do they say to wow. Kashmi? Are they just getting a little too close for comfort, or yeah. are they saying anything? No, they say. Uh... Monsieur, are you lost? Mm, Do you remember the no. last time we met? Uh, this is the first time we met. Unless, oh. uh, of course, you feel we have met before. No, 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 no. I believe we have met uh, a couple of weeks ago. But quite, quite a things have, many a thing has changed since then. Um, you don't remember yeah. your good friend Guillaume? Uh, you look as though you have lost a little bit of weight, I say. Mm. <laughs> Meanwhile, and, in the nearby alley, like <laughs> Picard is just like sizing up pieces of wood to <laughs> decide which one he's coming out with. Well, well certainly you remember our, our good friend, Father Jerome. Uh, they'd, be, they'd be looking for you. I'm sure they're worried to death about you. You should certainly come with us. And then three of them... Um, Oh, no, I most certainly am not going with you. Um, I have a play rehearsal to get to. I'm afraid we must insist. Uh, and uh, I think... I'm afraid I must oppose. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I was, I I was going to say, uh, the insist is followed by uh, a hand with a knife. Uh, not thrust at uh-huh. you as a threat, like... I'm afraid I'm going to have to insist that you come along with us. Yeah, I don't have my sword. In a Can we get some position? Com- some yeah. positioning here? Yeah. I believe this in this system, it's traditional for you to uh, introduce yourself at, yeah. right before you commit to violence. Yeah, he said his, na- his name is yeah. Guillaume. Yeah. Uh, so. and they, but he doesn't have to introduce himself. Like, he's not a stranger to Anton. Mm. Right. That's what I'm saying. Well, no. Like, no, no, what it, I'm, they've met before is, the, is what I'm saying. Yeah, but what Colin's saying is that in combat, part of the combat uh, resolution is, hello, my name is, before you smack somebody on the top of the head. 
And what I'm saying is Picard is coming out of the alley with a piece of wood. <laughs> okay. Yeah, oh, and okay. I was gonna... With a two yeah. by four. You know, yep. he's going to follow up. Um... Or the chair. <laughs> I'm going to introduce myself as Anton. <laughs> recently deceased as i crossed myself no um you <laughs> did you <laughs> yeah, did. You, you, res- you did respond to anton and that's why they were talking i but, know yeah. you can but, totally introduce yourself as the ghost of anton I that's know. pretty badass well I, I think i'm gonna play into this because my my alibi was gonna be no i'm an actor for a performance see i'm mm. not anton but no i want to stay anton to them I have to commit to the role. This is real method yeah. stuff. Commit so. to the bit, man. So, yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Right. Um, so, so it's so up. it's clear. Uh, Guillaume Giar- uh, is not the one pulling the knife. Uh, yeah. Their friend uh, Pierre Marie is the more brash one of the group, and uh, is the one holding a knife. Please. Then I think Pierre Marie is the one who's going to get uh, the muskets attention first cool um, oh my so yeah so you're you, you're not gonna go along with them so we're gonna we're gonna get into an actual oh. skirmish here then okay all right all right uh so then it, first thing is initiative right yeah uh i don't think this is an ambush well no. i guess maybe yours is an ambush maybe right yeah it could be i don't think my character is particularly good at it, so I don't know. I think I don't. It's not certain that it's he's ambushing. <laughs> he would like to, but I don't think he's very good. What is there? Is there a nice rule for you're, resolving? You're at. So, you're basically. Um. You're less than ten yards, right? Like they're like pretty much mm-hmm. in front of you, right? Like you should come along. The point. The point is. I mean, I. I would argue that they're actually at sword point, or I should. Say, you know, like dagger point mm-hmm. is the idea. That's the only reason why they would flash you a a, a knife, being like come with us so you don't so you really you can't you're not in a position where you're too close to really kind of run away unless you want to really risk mm-hmm. it you know they're they're achieving maximum trying to they're attempting to achieve maximum effect here okay so is there anything um that you need to do declare declare yep so i'm holding a two by four which uh i suppose would be a cudgel i'm yep that that makes sense to me um that means my initiative is not anything on my character sheet, unfortunately. Uh, uh, Cudgel is 16. 16. Okay. Uh, and I'm also using my cane, but I have bonuses to initiative with it. So uh, I'm actually sitting at 14, I believe. Nice. Yeah. So Picard literally is just going to step from the alley, like bouncing this two by four on his shoulder and say, I am Picard Saint Michel, and I have some words. To speak with whomever is left standing. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Yeah. Very well, Picard Saint Michel. My name is Guillaume. And you too will be coming with us. And uh cool. So I think so we're we're doing the order for exchanging a fire. Um so you're going sixteenth. They are actually doing stuff uh, bare fist, so they're actually 18th, but they do have it. We do, we are dealing with a knife. And a knife is. Go for a cutlass or something? You know, that's, that's weird that a dagger isn't listed here. Plug bayonet is essentially a dagger with a weird handle. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. Let's, uh, let's, I'll presume that that is the. A yeah. poignard. Isn't a poignard a type of dagger? Yes. I believe I, that or a, uh, yeah, okay. Regardless, I think then they would go first. Okay. They don't really want to hurt you, though. Well, well if they're really not know. using the weapon, that's that's the question, that's right? The what thing. weapon are yeah. they using this round? Well, they're not trying to kill you. They just want you to come along with them, right? Mm-hmm. So if anything, I guess it might be like a cudgel or they, they try to hit you with them. Yeah, yeah. Right, like mm-hmm. they're like like a like a the pommel like a pommel strike of it. Pommel mm-hmm. hurts. They, they, yeah. yeah, they don't want to actually like. You know, they just want you. They want they want you to say to come along quietly. They don't actually want you to die before seeing the priest, um, because you are valuable, Anton. So okay. You died once before. All right. So then my a cudgel is not uh nope it's still it's nope uh, cudgel beats. We're cudgel tied. Is sixteen. It's yeah, but you're not tied with me. No, because the cane—you're a cane, and you have plus one or something, right? Because I've got quick hands. 
Yeah. <laughs> All right, I'm, quick hands. Because I'm a spy, man. Yeah. Okay. okay, quick hands. Okay, quick hands. I can I can handle that. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna. You're hand the, to hand, so uh, opponent's strength is what you're trying to hit. That's right, and I'm trying to also hit the person that is the most dangerous. So whoever's got that Pierre Marie that knife, yeah. Um. And um, for the record, so it's Guillaume, Guillaume's like kind of like the leader there. Uh, Pierre Marie is sort of like the more uh, brash knife holding guy, and then the third one is uh, uh, Be- Benoit. Benoit, I guess. Benoit. 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 That's right. That's French Canadian. Uh, Benoit. Rocking. Okay, then I will roll my strength, I believe. Because that is the deal. Here we go. Oh, that's going to do it. Um, they that's Their strength is not an 18, that's for sure. <laughs> okay. Seems okay to me. Uh, and then casual damage is just a d4. Because quick hands doesn't give me any bonuses. And neither does any of this stuff, I don't think. Two points. Um, how much does a buff coat give them? Uh, well, um, I'm one. going for head, so. Uh, buff coat is one point, and they can do that up to ten times. Okay, yeah. So they will they will take uh, one of that damage. Rockin'. Let me make notes over here so I can follow along. Okay. Um, so you hit them. They recoil for a minute. Uh, that was Pierre Marie. Mm-hmm. Uh, Guillaume and, and Benoit both are fighting hand to hand. Mm-hmm. So I think then um, the poignard, or I guess the cudgel, will then go. But then how? To, and we determine Colin, the uh, musket's dexterity, because I think that's the tiebreaker, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, dexterity is eleven. Okay, uh, their dexterity. <sighs> We're also tied. You have to roll for armor to subtract damage. Oh no, only for no. the, only for some of the armor. Yeah, for like yeah. a metal curious and stuff. I think. Cool. So unfortunately, um, we are also tied for dexterity. So then, is it then does it go to moral? Who's morally right in the situation? Mm-hmm. Or is that just dual wits? Probably just dual wits. Okay. I wouldn't worry. What are the like... odds that you all have the same dexterity too? God dang. Yeah. Okay. Right. Um, you can just. I'll give it to you. You're the player character as well, so I'll give it to you. Okay. Oh, and I'm supposed to... Oh, no, I don't have bonus. Okay. Um, yeah, I will target the guy with the poignard uh, pommel with my own cudgel. Oh, okay. Double double attack in Pierre Marie. Go ahead. Yeah. Soldier, not a duelist. <laughs> that will do it. A plus three is pretty good. And I get an extra D4 damage because uh, of I'm a soldier. Oh, that's brutal. <laughs> that sucks. I mean, okay. you you can uh, you don't have to accept that exertion. Yep, done. <laughs> so, do I reroll one or both? Uh, that's always a good question. I believe you you reroll the roll, so I think it's both of yeah, them. Yeah, it's the whole roll. Yeah, that's better. I like okay. that. Okay. So, what happens when they're less than half? You have to. I have to make a check. I have to make a sang frock check, right? Well, it's the morale. Oh, sorry, it's morale ends check up happening, right? That's right. And it's so, good. yeah, and the morale here, uh, if they don't appear to be outnumbered, nobody's fled or surrendered. The leader isn't down, but I believe they are surrounded. The way we came in. Uh, so I mean, they, it's kind of like three on three, and you have like, I don't. I wouldn't say you're surrounded. Yeah, because we came from the same alley. Yeah. So okay. they have they can just go back the way they came. We're, are we flanking them then? Because well, we're on both sides? What no. Uh I wouldn't I wouldn't say you're flanking them. I would say that uh you have two sides. Alright. Then uh no. the only one that I think might 
apply is badly wounded, only one or two hit points remain, and that's only a minus one morale. Okay, so then they're at six of eight, and they make it. Okay. Nuts. Uh, my turn. They're going to retali- They're retaliating. Um, they're going against uh, the the soldier because that you're the, obviously the biggest threat here. Yeah, that's that's fair. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Uh, I roll again. If you if you so you, yeah, we'll talk about Sangfra in a minute. But okay, they both hit. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, my defense is eleven. So then you that's... can force them to reroll. I, I am. Years of my life, I'm like, I'm well, like, your actual right life is in danger now. <laughs> so. yeah. Fuck. Uh, no, oh. I okay, yeah, I can take this as the thing. Um, yeah. so if those are two individual hits, I those only are take one damage. Yeah, those are I two individual, up. those yeah. are two individual hits. Uh, but I want to see if yeah. they get extra damage to this. Go for it. Uh, oh, yes, they do. Um, you're gonna get an additional four points of damage because they have plus two damage in hand to hand. Okay, um, so uh, that's a total of seven. Uh, but then yes. you reduce it by two, so you took five. Yep. And that also damages my buff coat. Uh, it sucked. It's a brawl. Yep. Okay. Um, hand to hands. Their dexterity is... a. No one else has a weapon. It's hand to hand. Their dexterity is 11. hand to hand. Yeah. Um, what I meant is no one else has a weapon, so then we go to the remainder of the four of us. No, I've I've got no yeah. dexterity. I'm <laughs> three of us because Busan has a cane. Okay, feather so you... fisted. <laughs> is your dexterity <laughs> less than eleven? Yes, it is. Okay, so then they will. Go. Um, all right, <laughs> I wanna... joined them at beating up Picard. Gotta make it look real. <laughs> <laughs> well, they fumble. Uh, well, I mean, there's no fumble in the game, but they would. Right. Uh, second one goes. Um. This one's going after Umistong. Uh Actually, I think yeah. they're gonna. Yeah, no, they would go after Umistong. Sure. Thirteen. That's be I close. my strength. That hits. Okay. Uh, D four plus two. Three. All right. Uh, punch. Um, you can see that these people are trained soldiers, right? Or they they have they have military experience. These people aren't aren't jokes. Mm. Right. Okay, so quick quick comment about sang and morale. So those guys' morale yeah. is equal to 7 plus their charisma mod. Right. Okay? And their morale is only going to drop when people die or they get severely wounded, so down to 1 or 2 HP. And yes. they only roll sang if they go half morale. Okay. Got it. Okay. okay. And when you do roll sang there is a uh, there's a roll 2d6 and do something crazy effects. Oh, cool. That, that will also happen. So, all right. Well, just a I'm heads not, up. That's good to know. Do you, well, we as you, player characters also have morale. I was going to say you that you can yeah. use the morale of uh, somebody else in the party. So, if somebody mm-hmm. in the party has a really high charisma, let me know because mine's terrible. I have a plus one charisma, so I think my morale is eight. I'm going to do that one then. <laughs> yeah. So, because you're, you know, leadership and all that. Yeah. Okay. Whew. Um. Want to make sure. Yes. Okay. Uh, damage wise. All right. Uh, was hand to, hand isn't listed here. For one d two damage. It's one d two damage. Uh, cool. Uh, then one second actually. Uh, I rolled. It's I rolled a d four. It's fourth down. It's fist. Oh, okay. So then, hold on, Muston. You actually might take. You have to take different damage because I rolled. A, I rolled the wrong die. As long as it's less, that's just fine. It's not less. <laughs> so you actually, you actually you, no. You actually took four because I rolled a D four. Okay. Um, unless we want to all agree right now that we should just honor the one damage because I. I mean, it, it is a one of a four, so it, it's fine. But I did roll the wrong die. I mean, I certainly would prefer to only take one damage, but I, I'll. I can. I'll. There's, I won't die either yeah. way. So okay. Personally, I want to beat up Adam's character. So, <laughs> okay, that's fair. Let's have me. Let's have me take the straight D two. That is okay. totally cool. Mm-hmm. All right, I did take a morale hit. Okay. Um. Cool. So then, I think that is the order, uh, except for um, Valentin. 
Yeah, uh, Valentin has to make a decision. Will he defend himself as he is disguised? Uh, no, uh, she's going to roundhouse kick one in the stomach, just kind of on the heel. It's it's what we do, so it's going to be straight. D20, I believe I miss widely. It's just kind of like, woo, as I pirouette away. <laughs> well, this is important. This is your plan, and this is not going to plan. What, uh, Or is it? Yeah, you have ways of changing this. <laughs> <laughs> they still think you're Anton. I know, and uh, it, they want me, they, they're insisting that I go with them, which yeah. may not be a negative. It may, uh, I'm, I'm going to call out to them and say, I'll go, I'll go. Leave them alone. Do not take them. Your beef is with me. They can take me prisoner. I'm of no value to them. Until they take me to that church where I was mouthy with the priest. Yeah, or, they, <laughs> or somewhere else, but yeah. yeah or somewhere else. Um, I, I I mean, I think what it will do is it'll keep those that would be pursuing you occupied while you go deeper into the plot. This is some real musketeer stuff. Wrong yeah. prisoner. Yeah. 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 I, and I like that. Uh, I think Picard doesn't want to show like giving up too easy. Right. Um, even though that like that's a good plan. But I think he, he wants to knock him around a little more before it's like, oh, no, you're way too much for us. Do oh, not. Right now, friend. Pierre Marie Tess, is handsome. I think I think just <laughs> so here's something that's, that's interesting. I want to I want to see whether or not I mean, this is probably just my pen dragon brain. But like, I want to <laughs> see whether or not you are like e like you can turn off that dial. Right. After a fight started and everyone's like enough. Oh, like, do you, yeah. do you still get a hit? Uh, in? Yeah, you know? that's true that's i'm true. down for like, that i'm not sure i'm not sure that's necessary is that so, is that saying for or more i'm thinking it's like a morale and then like if you if you fail the morale you keep going like you would, well, you, would you would hit actually like it's like a reverse morale check like a morale would be like listening and being the sensible thing and going with the group and saying we're stopping right and right. i feel like maybe a foul a, a failed one in that case would be the situation where you you still get that last hit in kind of thing yeah okay uh, but so, i don't know um, what do you what, what do you think about that what, what do you, how do you think that would happen? What, what do you, or, or do you just want to declare what you would do that or not? Right. I'm, I'm down to Look, test it. Cause I do think it's in, an yeah. interesting question. I love for interesting yeah. questions. We want yeah. to get an interesting I love, answer. Yeah. Cause I, I love, um, I love that Valentin's doing this. Right. And like, but like think of like the middle of a fight when someone's like enough, enough. It's like, does, does that one hit still go through kind of scenario or do we yeah. just, do we break it off? And if you so, could, you could, my you morale, could to, yeah, you could totally declare to say that you're eight. fine, but this you, is more You can't, so the system doesn't give you a way to test morale, but sang talks about it's also when working at the nerve to commit violence and when in the chaos of battle. So I could totally see sang as a way for you to control yourself. Yep. In yeah. the and, chaos, right? and in this case, I, I want to fail my sang right? If Based you fail your sang then you will continue to fight. Yeah. Okay. I Would did not. So I, I restrain myself. Sure. Because okay. it's your soldiering skill. When your officer gives an order, can you stop yourself, right? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Um, I, I have a temper, but I'm not ill-disciplined. Perfect. Right? Okay. So Picard, like, pull, like he's, he's winding up for a second swing, but uh, pauses. Awesome. All right. Time to bat my eyes at Pierre Marie and insist <laughs> that he takes me. Must, uh, Mustan, you're you're good to stop, right? Yeah. <laughs> Mustan's just leaving bodies in the streets of Paris. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. I mean, are are you cool with you two giving up, uh, Valentin? Picard is. Or are going you going to, to have... demand to come with them? I'm um, not going with them. Uh yeah. I. Yeah. Say... Picard is gonna. Picard's just gonna look at Valentin and say. I'm going to come for you. And as I'm like pulling Mustan back to safety to check on his bruises. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, you're you're looking you're making sure he's doing that stuff. And then yeah, uh Guillaume, uh would go um as they like kind of grab uh Valentin. Uh, or in any case they think that's Anton. Um mm -hmm. they're gonna grab him and say, Gentlemen, it's been a great a pleasure. But I will be I, like if when you want your friend back. Come back to the Church of Saint Gervais and ask for Father Jerome. I shall bring the apostles with me next time. <laughs> I don't think they understand the reference. 
They don't know that you <laughs> named your. You, they don't know you named your musket that. I don't oh, think you have the no. reputation. The the bandolier that a musketeer wears, the prepackaged little oh. things, you would traditionally have twelve of them, and so they. Oh, they're called, called the apostles. apostles. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ah, that's awesome. They sn- yeah. yeah, they they snort and they say, like a good soldier. Cool. I I yeah I, I turned to Pierre and uh, Guillaume and I'm like he is a godly man and then uh, <laughs> let them drag me off like a uh, Johnny Depp and Benny and June just drag me. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Uh, yeah, and for the record, these guys have Bavarian kind of accents, or or I should say at least uh, non non French native. Mm-hmm. Mm. Germanic. Yeah, they're Germanic. Yeah. Oh, these guys. These fucking guys. You're lucky I rolled uh that the number on on the the number of them. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so. Yep. Okay, cool. So that's not great. So then I yeah. think we're going <laughs> to Yeah, cool. Um I think we're gonna, we're going to cut to um bringing them to to you in the church, Grant. Hmm. Right? I think I think we're going to take you they're going to take you to Father Jerome. Um, which okay. is awesome. So they're they're taking you um, up the street. Uh, they're you're not you're going to go past the cemetery, um, and when you go and you're not going through like the front doors of the churches or anything like that. You're kind of going through like sort of the back area, like if you were going to like the sanctuary and kind of like the the more of the administrative parts of a church. Um, it's cool. So they're going to take you there. Um. No, that's wait. That's the Church of the Holy Trinity, I think. No, 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 no. I'm wrong. I was right the first time. I was doubting myself, but I'm right. Okay. So, um, let's see. Let's see where they would be real quick. You want this to be low. Perfect. Okay. Um, so then you're going to take them right to their office into Father Jerome's office. So you're going to get a lot more of a picture of what's going on. Um, are you are you like protesting this whole way? No, not at all. Um, okay. This is this is me thinking that my great plot is getting ready to mm. succeed. That wow. I'm going to bring about, you know, the salvation of all Parisians um, right here. This is uh, an opportunity for me to converse with a, a very influential figure. Yeah, I'm going to make as little noise as possible. Now I get to introduce myself as Valentin de la Tour. It's like, wait, who? What? Why? Yeah. Well, but, uh, exactly. Way, it's like... um, well, this is going to be very, very interesting because Father Jerome thinks that you're dead, or thinks Anton is dead. Thinks Anton is dead, right? And so this is going to be very interesting. Um, so you failed. So here's the thing, though. You failed your 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 check to not be kind of noticed and things going bad and getting finally accosted here. But the question <laughs> is whether or not Father Jerome could recognize you or not. I feel like that's really going to hinge on things. And I don't know what that role should be. Well, here's sort of the question. Yeah. Those soldiers mistook me for Anton and took me as Anton. Mm -hmm. I don't have to roll to prove that I am not Anton to Father Jerome. Right. Uh, I think before. But my intentions here, just so you know, my intentions. Yeah. However, this goes down. I'm trying to get on Father Jerome's good side and come off as impressive an intellectual as possible. What with my bruised wrists and my manly clothes. Oh, awesome. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, I want to be drinking with Father Jerome tonight, plotting. Okay. So then I think I think the doors open then, and uh, you can see across Father Jerome's desk here are, are numerous manuscripts. Uh, obviously, you don't have time to like see what's written down mm-hmm. and stuff like that, but just picture... Um, this person's deep into study of something, uh, and he 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 stands up. Uh, for example, for real quick, uh, nice. Oh, cool. Um, so he he wears his hair um very uh very like short and what would, what would be like in vogue? Would you be wearing always a a, a a what do you call it um a wig? Would that be like typically in vogue at this time? Or, no, or not. not if I was Anton. It, the, no, a priest. Other... Oh, uh, like uh, a thing, be, uh, because you're no. yeah. you're trying to appear a little bit more poor, right? Mm. And the wigs were for the nobility and the rich. Well, he's trying to appear stylish and imperious. So, like, he's trying to give the impression that he is more important than so, you know? he. He might. He it might could certainly go either way. Yeah. Sure. Okay. 
Right. Well, I guess I'm trying to describe that. Well, a priest may appear to in on Sundays to be one of the people back there here. He's go. wearing the nice fineries and wearing like the he's living the good life, right? Preparing kind of back here. His me. office is very like uh, cozy, rich. Is are the words I would describe for his office, right? Luxurious. There's hot chocolate on tap. This is great. <laughs> yeah, it's it is a it is a very nice office. Uh, clearly, this person is is well well to do, right? Um, right. So uh, he he will kind of stand up uh, quizzically and wondering why people barge into his office, right? And they they say, uh, uh, "Father, I wanted to present to you a a stray lamb. It is Anton." Your research assistant. They Anton. say with a snarl. Research. Unhand me. I am Valentin de la Tour of La Blanchisserie. Uh, the sire of the laundry. They <laughs> look at you. Uh, everyone, the soldiers and them. Stand proudly, chin raise. They do and, not speak proper French. He gets up and says, well, uh, Anton or Valentin, would you mind removing Monsieur your Monsieur Valentin. Yes, Monsieur. Uh, yeah, I, I, I take it off. And I'm standing with almost like aggressive posture, uh, feet shoulder, shoulder width apart, um, tall spine. Um, almost as if uh, 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 Mozart had heard his music just playing, and it's like, oh, oh hey, this is my big moment. <laughs> oh. it's, it's clearly not Anton, because he mm -hmm. knows you, and so he's going to address the three soldiers that brought you in and be like, "You three, what is the meaning of this? This is clearly well, this is not Anton." Uh, and you, I, there's an obvious look of like shock and relief on on the priest's face. Uh, it's that doesn't require a roll or anything to see that. Um, you know, it would be like seeing a ghost, uh, and it's relief that it's not. Um, and he's like, "What is this? Is clearly not Anton. What is wrong with you? Like out, 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 out." And um, they're gonna start trying to drag you away. Like, I, I, do, I do, Monsieur. Like, sorry for the hey. the mistakes, right? And. Basically, he's just washing this away. So if you want to make an impression to him and well, stick around, you're going to have to, like, explain or, like, yeah. justify it. Because right now, it's just like, you came into my office in the middle of the study because you thought this was someone you're not. And it's like, well, it's like, I'll deal with you later. Like, he's clearly, he would rather go back to his work right now. Oh, if you will not deal with me now, then the press shall deal with me now, being seized in the streets <laughs> of Paris. Uh, Perhaps you can make this worth my while as I turn my eyes to whatever. The three of you. It's not going to be communion wine. The three of you wait out, outside, like out, out my door, and you know, and they, they close it. And you get, yeah, with that, you definitely get a one on one. No, no role required. Right? And you're, you're straight into intimate range for sure. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. Drinking with the priest. Yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, you just threatened him to be like, well, I mean, I don't think the press would say. And he he's smart enough to realize what just happened, that this, that, you know, capturing a, a nobility off the street may not be the best look. And now he's got to like, no. he closes the book he's working on. Clearly, you have his attention is also the the big part, right? Mm -hmm. um, but yes, you are, you are in his office, his private chambers. It's a one-on-one. -on -one. Obviously, his soldiers, friends are standing outside. But um, you can have at them. Um, so, yes. so Monsieur Valentin, de, de la Tour, and de la Tour. I, I, and this is where I make myself very humble. This is almost like the cat folds the ears back, you know, the eyes widen, and I'm just kind of like, what's your reputation? I, I'm sorry to interrupt you real quick. This is important. That's a great. He wants that's a great because question. he works with Father uh, Father uh, Pierre. So like he, I want to know if this, if your your shuffle scuffle and reputation here is affecting, like he would know that name now. Because you're like you're yeah. you're the little snot that that pissed off that priest that he heard about, like that's the question, and I think that's really important. I want to interrupt you to to figure that out or not. Well, he would have heard that because if my brother heard that. Well, he might not have. It depends where he's at in the church. Well, that whole he's he's above that father, right? This person's yeah. not like a bishop or anything like that, but clearly he's important, right? How much does he mingle with the congregation? Not so much the congregation, but other priests. Um. So I okay. There's so much. The thing is that that would have been news, but so much things have happened in this time that that could have gotten swept under, right? Mm -hmm. So that's okay. the question here, right? 
Um, how would I know you? How would I know if your reputation is known in the street here? Is your reputation at least five? Otherwise, I just roll a d6. I'm just gonna roll a d6 and see what he's heard. Of yeah. Me. Uh, Adi heard about you. Even he didn't. Okay, he didn't hear Did about not. your thing yet. Okay, or forgot. Okay, so it won't come up. That's all. Sorry. Continue. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So I'm I'm, I'm essentially humbling myself before the priest, and letting him know that uh, this grievance can slide. But I do need a favor. I need a recommendation to uh, get into one of the local parties and salons because I have not been invited in some time. And surely a father <laughs> of his great reputation can uh, see that I am housed in the company of friends. <laughs> okay, so that sounds like both a uh, an, an announce your intentions yes. and uh, and a flatter to me. Um, yep, and I think this priest is... He wanted to know what he could do for you. Um, hmm. well. Intentions get this person out of my office without going to the press? Yeah, that's, that's definitely a, the intention. So is this a duel or is it a joint compromise? That's what I want to figure out. Because if he gets what he wants and I get what no. I want, and we he don't have to battle? He doesn't want to do that for you. Okay. Um, he would be willing to do it. But the thing is, though, the, the biggest part of his intention is as fast as possible. And that isn't, that isn't that. Got so, it. Does that, make, does that make sense? It's a totally legit ask. I'm so glad you're doing this. This is fucking awesome, okay. to be honest with you. Uh, it's just that the Father Jerome literally needs to go back and work on his works, and he wants to get rid of this and deal as fast as peaceful as possible. <laughs> yes. So that All could right. go in your advantage here, but like asking yeah. him for that kind of work is like, he would rather, oh, he would rather bribe you. Yeah, this is you going know? to go with the... Yeah. All right. Yeah. I'm going to put a bunch of labor on this priest. Yeah, this, this is, is good. Thing. This is awesome. Okay. Okay. Even if I get thrown out with nothing, the, that's a great story for me. It's like, and then mm -hmm. Valentin was ejected. He's not allowed to go back to the church anymore. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so tell me, so, so he doesn't know you exactly. Um, he would, he would want to know your connection to Anton. Um. <clears throat> I explained that uh, Anton was, uh, uh, we were joint family friends as our uh, family came into prominence. Uh, his family often came asking for favors. Mm. I see. And they were loyal to us many years ago in the old wars. I see. Okay. Okay, I have to roll up his will. All right. So doo -doo -doo -doo. he is technically a Jesuit, so that's All right. not good for you. I believe that's an additional something. Uh, we'll find out. So plus one d four. Okay, um, so this is against his target wisdom. I got a twelve. You're not being. You did not surpass his wisdom. I'm pushing myself. Yes. <laughs> So that's roll again plus five. Yep. This is how I die. <laughs> yep. I mean, you can't stop now. Some cost fallacy was that's, that. <laughs> that's pretty dang amazing. Okay. Um, <laughs> that is not gonna do it. No. A ten a ten will not beat it. No. Okay, so then it's gonna defer to him. Yeah. Well, Monsieur. I'll give you one thing. Right. You're clearly uh, someone of import and status, or strives to be, um, and I, I hear your pleads to make life better. Aren't we all trying for a little bit of prestige? Are we not? What if, what if I smooth that out? Um, and he's going to offer you um, one, one wealth of money of ducats right I got, yeah, they, yeah, use, yeah. they use ducats at this time right pistoles ducats and something else that's that's the coin uh, yeah, that's the coinage yeah, of the realm right? yeah I, yes he's offering you a bag of 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 <laughs> like of of i'm not sure if it's collection money or something <laughs> i know right? it's, it's a bag it's, of money it's a bag of money that's not been counted but like ostensibly you know it's it would be about one wealth worth of stuff um, so it's like uh, the drawer full of money in L. Yeah. Ron Hubbard's office. <laughs> Just here you go. Have a sec. And then say, 
what if what if a nice donation to um your laundry was in order right so that's he's bribing you okay we'll see how this goes uh, so this is against right. your wisdom yeah we're in intimate range just up close getting bribed yeah i'm not wise uh but you're only getting one d4 because it's uh the amount that you're getting bribed yeah by. i will for three Sing uh, or... let, me double ch let me double check my will. Um, well, I only had three will. So no. <laughs> with trembling uh... hands, takes the money. Okay, yes. your intention here is that you will. Um, all right, so you accept the offer, right? The ex the the offer was my intention of well, you know, I will help you out. Don't don't go to the press, and here's here's a little bit of money for the inconvenience. Okay, and then uh, let's see what this says. It's the, uh, yeah, it's just accept your offer. So yeah, I'm I'm going to take it. Um, it kiss kiss the the ring of the father. <laughs> Being very careful not to suck the jewels out. <laughs> Smile with my jeweled teeth as I take this back and get out of there. And I just want you gents to know, um, our characters are going to have our own party because now we get to go out and eat at a restaurant or something like that. Because mm -hmm. that's what they do in the Musketeers novels. It's like, we got a little bit of money. Let's go have a, some food. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, yeah. Uh, so I think, I think when you, when you, you'll, then you'll thank them, right? Exactly. You leave the door, the camera stays for a second. And he's like, <sighs> <laughs> and like just opens the book again and starts like looking, like trying to figure out back where his research at. And then like, we see that it's like, it has pictures of like, old Aramaic text and stuff like that written in it and, and doing stuff. So, cool. Um, you will be remembered. All right. Um, so are we, are we doing, uh, <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Take I've got a letter to deliver. You have a letter to deliver. Um, cool. I have, I have another, Aden, Aden also comes with another job for you. Rocking. But, um, well, let's deal with this letter first, I guess. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Um, so right now, you don't know how to get specifically in contact with La Madame Chevreuse. Mm -hmm. And I'm not entirely sure how I would figure that out, to be perfectly honest. Sure. Um, you would have to find um, someone else middling. Um, so you know that La Madame Chevreuse has powerful friends in, in the front doors. Mm-hmm. So getting a powerful friend to make an introduction for you might be the easiest way of doing it. You need, you need someone to make an introduction for you. Yeah, but like usually that would be a den. Like that's, that's kind of the... Right, and the problem here is that a den can't be seen doing this, which is why sure. we need this needs to be handled discreetly. Uh-huh. Um, right, so then he would give you the person, he would give you the name of the person you need to find then, right? He would give you the, he would give you, she, a, would, a, yeah. she sorry, a den, den's a she, a she would give you a letter of like introduction or something like that to be like, okay, find, yeah, find, absolutely. find Sabine. Uh, Sabine mm -hmm. will be the one who gets you in there. Is an easier person to get a hold of, right? Yes. <clears throat> right. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm going to make that happen then. Awesome. Okay. So then find, finding Sabine would be a little bit easier. Mm -hmm. Cool. Um, so Sabine is running a... Uh, she she is part of the um, sisters, for starters. Mm -hmm. uh, she is currently. Um, what would be the best way of putting it? She's not like a doctor, but she's sort of mm -hmm. like she's helping the the, the sick and, and things like that. She's clearly um, like around her are, are various like remedy types of things. Like she's she's clearly kind of like a nurse or or something like that in that that kind of way. She has, she has some sort of training. When mm -hmm. it comes to uh, an education, and it comes to um, the arts of first aid, uh, mm -hmm. so where you're at right now is you're. Um, she has a small like I, I'm going to use the modern terminology because I don't know what you would call it, but like essentially she has like a clinic kind of the court of miracles where she's mm -hmm. taking up station to help some of the poor uh, here, mm -hmm. right? So she's brought some of her things with her and she's treating some people. L'hôpital. Yeah, a l'hôpital. Okay, l'hôpital's uh, yeah a formula. Um, yeah. No, no, no. Uh, Lobitao's formulas is the is the place that she's at right now. So okay, uh, she is. Uh, I mean, let's do like the Law and Order situation where she's like has her sleeves up and she's like walking between guests, like like uh, sick people and like taking care of them as you you show up, right? Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, let's 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 do that part, right? 
And um, she's like, I don't know who you are, and I don't have time for you, as she's like treating people. Milady, when do you have a moment? Uh, come back next year, <laughs> she says, uh, <laughs> as she's uh, like, like clearly, um, mood, <laughs> like all these, like she's she's clearly overworked, right? Think uh-huh. think of like a clinic for a bunch of refugees in a war crisis and a food scarcity situation, right? Mm-hmm. She has her work cut out for her, so she's dealing with um, various contagions, various ailments um, of all types right now. Uh, you know, she she ha- you see like her little dwindling amount of supplies. Mm-hmm. Um, can I nurse for you while we talk? Are you, are you trained at it? Gosh, no. But I can carry things and move right. things. Ooh. Um, no, I think I think I think that's a good that's a good. Um, no, I think we have to do with dual wits first of of leave me alone kind of scenario. Um, if you because if here here's what I'm thinking right. She wants to dismiss you and get you out of here. Mm-hmm. Uh, I want you want to persist and show that you can actually be useful, and then you're worth having a conversation. So maybe this no. Is- if I'm if I'm duly of Witzing, I'm going straight to get an invitation. Is my intention? Understood. I okay. don't I don't care about staying here for a half an hour. I just let's do if I can get parlay. out of your hair immediately. I'm let's do totally ins- okay. in, let's do let's do a parlay to set the scene. Let's Rocket. do that. Okay. Mm-hmm. That makes sense here, right? You can say I can help, uh, right? Just fine with that. Does that make sense? Am I? Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, I don't want to feel like I'm just being a, oh my God, you made it. Awesome. Mm-hmm. Right? I don't, I don't want, at any point in the game, I don't want it to feel like I'm just dictating things like this is how it should be if you think it's different, right? Totally. Um, well, that's what, that's yeah. what we're working through, right? Totally. Cool. Awesome. So you, pa- you passed the parlay. So it's good. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Um, I'm a fixer. You, you can help. So I think the scenario isn't that she thinks that... Um, that you should still be dismissed. I think is that you, the parlay here is that you do step in and kind of like, you know, like you catch a towel that's like, that fell or something like that or about to fall, right? And give it back to her and show, mm-hmm. you know, that kind of thing. And I she's like, quick hands. yeah, she's, yeah, exactly, right? And she's, so she's like cleaning her hands, right? And uh, mm-hmm. she's, she's like, what? I only need a few moments. I need an introduction to Madame Chivers. And that can be sometime in the future, maybe just a letter. Directions. You mean, you mean the one you work for? She says, like identifying that you're you're clearly like an agent of somebody. Unfortunately, not the one that I work for, but one that I work for is allies who cannot be seen in public. Uh, these are dangerous times, and I don't. How can I be sh- assured that you, you are to be trusted, Monsieur? Monsieur Mouston. Mouston. It's a, it is a valid. No, no, it's a val. It's a it's a valid concern. What can I do? The lady's protection is of utmost importance at these times. So I'm not quite. Sh- Forgive me if I'm not too willing to open that Absolutely. door. Absolutely. My yet. my my main goal here is just to deliver communication. So if I have somebody who is attached to this person well enough, then I can pass to them and not bother, not deal with the madame directly. That would be fine with me. Yes, leave it. Um, so you convinced her to listen to you and hear you out, and now mm-hmm. you got to convince her to listen and read, listen to this letter, and pass this along. Mm-hmm. Even just a letter. Mm-hmm. It's like oh, I don't know. I'm quite busy, and I'm no offense, but I do not know you. Mm-hmm. Okay, so then we can do a little let's go. Yes, that makes sense to me. Okay. All right. Awesome. Intention here is getting the letter i want to get the letter to madame mm-hmm. i want to have assurances that will actually get received that's the big you thing. want assurances that yeah that the letter will be received um she she actually needs your help um so she, her intention here is to um get you to uh prove your trust to her mm-hmm. and we are speaking distance speak uh, yeah yeah speaking distance Right. Uh-huh. Again, like a small little, like tiny, like hospital. Uh, Absolutely. Being generous with the word hospital. Right. Well, I'm just going to implore then. That's all my deal. Yeah. It's slightly reminiscent to sort of like the cellar of the of the church that you found Anton in. Right. Just like mm-hmm. literally, just like rags on the ground, and people like up against the walls. Right. It's mm-hmm. don't. There's no. There's no tr- proper cot treatment here. 
right? It's, totally. These are these are the worst of the people, and she's wearing the um, obligatory, obligatory uh, white white robes with the black uh, uh, poncho. I'm not sure what you would call it. Sort of like over top part of mm-hmm. of the people of her order, right? As she's like, sort of helping people, but she's she's clearly has um, more education uh, education than um, you know. She went to school and she has she knows her letters and stuff very well. Um, just around as she's like looking at other people's notes about people um, and, and, and like mixing uh, tinctures and stuff for people. Absolutely. And I assume that like every few seconds or minutes, there's a, could you grab that for me? Could you yeah. take this? Could you hold this? Right. And I'm just doing all of these things. Exactly. So that's, that's the scene, right? So there's, can, there can be some people in the way, but it's always going to be speaking distance, right? Uh, mm-hmm. There's also the opportunity to interject those sort of like things about, well, I'm not going to hold that over until she answers, right? And that kind of stuff. Yep. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yep, yep, yep. So we have the good scene here. Um, mm-hmm. I just need to generate their will. Um, I, I, I My get... will also goes up by a couple and I have several pieces of armor because I'm protecting my master's interest. Yes, you are. Awesome. I'll take what I can get. Okay. Um. Okay. Cool. Um, I think you have. Ooh, who has the better reputation here? Uh, Shh. reputation. I've got eighteen. I'm sorry, uh, not reputation. Precedence, I've precedence. got two. I'm low precedence. The problem is that her precedence is low as well. Awesome. Um, so I think we're tied. Then it goes to what? Uh, what did we go to it, Colin? And you're tied at precedence. Uh, I believe... Ooh. Is it charisma or reputation? Charisma. I think it's charisma. There's like... no way she's lower than me. I'm at six. Wisdom, then charisma. Ooh, wisdom, I'm at 13. Oh, it's wisdom? No, oh, it's wealth. Wealth? If two I'm have the 16. same precedence, then the character you, with the you, higher then reputation you... speaks first. If that is also tied, then the character with the higher wealth speaks. All right, you so have reputation, wealth. 18, and then wealth, 16. Um, I think I think she... I, I see the problem is I don't I don't know how to make reputation on the fly yet for characters so like sure but I presume I presume you have a higher reputation than her she's kind of I a, have I have a serious reputation she has a pretty serious reputation too uh but like yeah. it's kind of like only in the circles of of where we would be right right okay cool yeah. cool 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 that makes sense all right yeah her charisma's not great so if it was that uh, you would definitely win so you win you have you have first you have first to act cool yeah so I'm imploring I'm just like. I can get out of your hair right now. All I need you to do is pass this message on and give me assurances that it will be received. Just a very quick yeah. in between screams of patients trying to deal with stuff and oh, flattering yeah. of things falling to the floor. Yep. Make it happen. Yep. And that's just charisma versus 15 in speaking distance, I believe. I believe so. Um, it's against your imploring. So that's her wisdom. Uh, yeah, but we're not in. We're I'm not sorry, in intimate, intimate speaking. So it's just fifteen. Yes, it's all 15. the all the ones that aren't at, that are outside of intimate. So I'm definitely re-rolling. Okay, <laughs> a uh, zero is probably not what you want. Probably, probably not the deal. Okay, <laughs> I'm uh, gonna get. Uh, let's keep going. So plus ten to this now. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Okay, there you go. I, I think will that's, go ahead and mark those times down. That's a success. That is a success. Um, so you are imploring, so that's 2d3 I'm damage. I'm imploring. Uh, in speaking distance, it's 1d6. Yeah. Oh yeah, sorry. I keep reading it's intimate. Cool. Uh, okay. Uh, Saint Four. Four. Okay. Um, she does not make it. Cool. So she misses her turn. She's. Big... Um, I think... I think it's a moment of her having to treat somebody and can't mm-hmm. respond to you. So you have a you have another round to act. Sure. That was a dirty roll. <laughs> <laughs> Can you implore again, or do you have to pick something else? I think you have to do something uh, else. I wasn't nope, going to implore round. again, anyways. Oh, sure. Beg uh, pardon. What are you going to do? That's the deal. Um, yeah, the beg pardon was my plan. Yeah. Because like, it's only a nine. Yeah, I I have a great image of this scene in my head, right? 
Like mm -hmm. it is, it's kind of like mash or like something where yeah, you're, yeah, help, you're exactly. helping these people and you're like, look, you got to help me out. Like this, this, you know, my, my employer is very important and, and you got to, you got to trust me here. And you're doing that and you're like, you know, napkin or, or tissue, mm -hmm. uh, poultice. Yeah. I'm so sorry for coming in. Absolutely unannounced. No, I don't, I, w I wouldn't do this if I, unless it was important and I had to. Exactly. Awesome. That is my big pardon. Uh, and I only have to hit a nine, which means I won't get it. Yeah. There we go. And just D4. Two more. Okay, that's it. Um, she she breaks. Mm -hmm. Well done. So I hand her the letter discreetly. Yeah. Hmm. You better be right. Monsieur. <laughs> awesome. Something something else falls in the background and shatters and I walk out. Yeah. Awesome. That's cool. Yeah. I like that a lot. Okay. Uh it works for me. Um I'm... Is there anything else or are you good there? No, I I think that scene changed. Yeah. Okay. Well, I, I think that might be the episode then, because of the oh yeah, the sure. Top, unless unless there's something real short somebody wants to do. Is it the scene of us all drinking? Or yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That. Val comes in. It's like I've got excellent news. We must have a repast. Just... <laughs> this one's not going to be at my house though. Just a heads up. Yeah, no, it's going to be at the manor house. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. Awesome. Yep. Cool. My. That's... It, are, are my is my kid and father invited? <laughs> Just a short duel of wits about that right there. <laughs> Never invite me out. <laughs> no. Why do you get to go drinking? I don't get to go drinking with my own <laughs> with my son. No. Not <laughs> wanted. No, of course not. It's just it's just that's awesome. <laughs> well, then I just left like, the I invite you in and just close the door. They're right behind you. And there's <laughs> Robert comes out of the rose bushes. What are you doing here? Get off my property. Ah, chases them away. <laughs> this oh, game. No. Oh, I love oh. this. It's a sumptuous meal. It's yeah. great. Fantastic. Uh, what do we, what do we think of the duel of wits and doing that stuff? Is that, is that fun? It's yes. good. Is it tedious? I don't um, think so. It, this is a slow game, is the thing I'm learning. This is yeah. not, like, it is swashbuckling, but we, we really do linger on the mechanical resolution of the scenes. Um, and that's not that's not a bad thing. That's just... That's it's helpful it's for us to learn them. Mm -hmm. It'll go faster the more you get the rhythm. I like mm -hmm. the pace that we're doing it, just because I'm a little slow at this, but it's starting to come together. Yeah, yeah I'm not, like, it's not like I'm raring to go super fast right yeah yeah party grenade yeah the judgment of when to do a duel of wits is way easier and you know and say burning wheel when like things are required and that kind of stuff so i'm, I'm still trying to gauge it here when it's like eh, actually this should just be a parlay or like uh eh, this should just be this kind of check or no this should be a duel of wits and part of me thinks like it should be kind of a duel of wits all the time um you, but I, don't I know. think you really like the dual wits. I, I, Moose Don would appreciate if it was a parlay at least some of the time because I'm much better at parlay than I am at dual wits. Yeah. Well, well, I, so I think in, a dual wits of... is a good. And sorry to cut you off, Colin. Just real quick, mm -hmm. it's like I think I think parlay. I think a, a dual of wits is a cool interest consequence of failure to a parlay. Mm -hmm. Sure. Where you're you're now stuck in a dual wits. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. I think uh, something to consider is the lingering impact of a duel of wits yeah. uh, you immediately regain 1d3 will but after that it's only 1d3 per day so like a, a, a duel of wits impacts you for several days um, and makes yeah. you more susceptible for more duels of wits so I, th I think having it as these very dramatic moments mm -hmm. is, is better as fun as the mechanics are uh, keeping it, them for the yeah yeah okay well Okay, so then maybe like the Genevieve of getting out of your house. I don't know. I feel like it's important because I feel like that establishes the tone and relationship of ever going back to Mouston's house of being like, I don't really don't want to see Genevieve again. <laughs> that's mm -hmm. really awkward. Um, so they're, like that's always going to be an issue. Uh, similarly, um, Sabine is going to be a uh, 
recurring, I think, character. Mm -hmm. um, so, like, important establishing reputations like that. Um, yeah. Seeing Father Jerome for the first time and having that reputation now mm -hmm. set up. Again, it's still, it's still like the, we're setting up the chessboard, right? Yeah. So, okay, cool. Any, any other things or just outros? I'm good with outros. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Let's do it. Um, Adam. Yeah, sure. Uh, hi, I'm Adam. Uh, I write music. I'm working on a new big album to release that's got a lot of really crazy stuff going on. Uh, and that's going to be available on Patreon. And then I'll send out a link as soon as I actually have a link that is straight to it. Uh, and I'm excited about doing that kind of stuff because it's going to sound really different from what I've been doing recently. So that's cool. Uh, Colin, what are you doing recently? Uh, I can be found here on Saturdays and Mondays with Eric's Pendragon campaign. Watch me and WebDM Jim just be dumpster fire nights in Salisbury. Uh, that's great. I also, on Thursdays, I run Simbarum, a game called The Triptych, a Witcher inspired kind of monster hunters. Um, that is on Thursdays on Unmade uh, Gaming, Mike's channel. Uh, and eventually, I am going to be published in Volume 3 of the Eat the Rich Anthology. Uh, my adventure, A Minor Requiem, or 5th edition, is going to be my sort of debut uh, RPG publication. So check that out when it eventually shows up. Mm -hmm. Speaking of RPG <laughs> publications, yes! <laughs> final 30 hours of a Kickstarter. I'm going to drop a link in chat, but you can find Please me do. online. Why is Papa Grant? We just hit our first stretch goal while we were in the game. We're almost at 900 backers. It's my first book with me as the lead designer. A wonderful thing about being a game designer is I'm already booked on my next five projects after this up until almost October of next year. Uh, so look for those as they come forward over time. Grant, are you running a game of this right now or will you in the near future? I probably will be running um, right now. I'm not since it's not all designed. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's awesome. And yeah, and thank you all. And then, um, yeah, everything that I'm doing right now, you kind of already heard uh, Monday nights after Pendragon, I do play uh, wrath and glory, but, and uh, Wednesdays I'm over at Jesse Cox's channel for the sunfall cycle. Uh, D and D dark souls. So that's, that's kind of my, my repertoire. Uh, this game is one of my favorites. This, but I gotta say, this and Pendragon right now are are giving me a huge amount of life. Um, yeah, it is, it is super fun. I'm enjoying these two hour games. I I shared this on Twitter about like when we play two hours, I end up prepping way way more uh, than ever ever before. Um, normally, like on a four hour show, I might prep for like two hours or so. Like maybe one of like an hour of that is probably thinking of like D and D maps and that kind of stuff. But like this game, I have to write out a huge NPC maps. Um, come up with sort of like the factions and what their their goals are and who's their actors and underneath it um, and, and kind of paint these huge situations and then watching you all kind of fit in. Uh, and so then once you all feel like you're you're enmeshed in the world, then you feel like you can take a little bit more control and, and start impacting these things. Mm -hmm. So um, all, it's a lot of onboarding. Similarly for Pendragon, um, I'm importing a bunch of tables and random stuff and because the whole game is just a bunch of tables really. And it was just my favorite way. And so coming up with all that kind of stuff and providing context for each of those sort of things and coming up with what they look like and introducing that to the game, like that's all, that all takes a lot of work, right? So, and coming mm -hmm. up with names and all that, the, all that type of stuff for two hours a, a, a week, it's, it's a lot of, a lot of pressure plus all the fun time uh, reading things. Uh, so, so then, and, and watching stuff. So that's, that's all gets tied into the game. So anyways, uh, we'll be back next week, I think, for more Miseries and Misfortunes. Same same miserable time, same miserable place. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, hopefully we'll, we'll see you there. So th take care, everybody. Thanks for, thanks mm -hmm. for tuning in.